Welcome learners. In chapter 2, we are going to see about the written statements and functions. Let us start. The written statement in C serves the crucial mechanisms for controlling the flow of a function and providing a value back to the calling code. It allows functions to produce results and communicate information to the rest of the program. Here is an introductory content about the written statements. Actually, we use a written statement in program to return some value in our program. This is the basic syntax of the written statement. First, the return data type, return keyword is given and then the expressions. Let us see how it works. Actually, we see the two keyword slide. First, the return and then the expressions. The first is the keyword indicating the beginning of the written statement. That is, if we give this keyword, the compiler know okay, we should return the value. And this is an expression. It means uh, in our programs, we, we can give a name like uh, maybe expression is in a user defined. Mm, by using, we calling the expressions, uh, we can uh, return some data. That's why it's uh, written as an expression. Okay, let us see a simple program for this. Uh, here, first I include a header functions, and this is a basic uh, function program example. Mm, here we are using uh, two functions, right? Mm, first the add function, and then the main functions. Mm, let us see one by one how it works. In the first. Uh, there is, we can initialize the data type as integer um, because we have to add the two numbers um, the results all if we add a two number then the result will also be a number right so for number we consider this as an um, integer data type basically this is the return type of the function a return type is an integer so we initialize this as an int and add is a function name and here int is a parameter type uh, that is a must be a number so that we initialize this as int and b also a number this is a parameter 2 and b is also a number right so we here also we give us int data type and we have to perform some calculations um, the added value must be a number so here also we give an uh, data type as int mm, the added value must store in a variable that is sum sum is the variable where the added value of a and b is stored then we have to return sum right return the added value right so here we have given the Mm, return keyword and this the sum is an expressions mm, as i told a earlier uh, the sum is an user defined variable right so here expression is also user defined just we call that sum return sum okay um, let us see why this main function is uh, used actually in a, in a program we can uh, use uh, many functions as we want as per our requirements we can use um, many functions um, here we use an add functions right likewise we can use subtractions multiplications and divisions um, we can use uh, many functions um, but how we can call that functions um, the calling purpose all are done in the main functions in our program there must be a main functions okay main function should be con uh, should be must in our program in the main functions uh, we can call uh, any of our functions mm, let us see how it works mm, here uh, uh, the result equal to integer because uh, we can uh, the, it is a number right so we provide this as an integer then uh, we can call a function add Mm, here it is like, like uh, this is a function name add so we give a function name as add and we have to pause an arguments uh, 3 and 5 are the arguments in the add functions we have to pause this value 
mm, how it works means it's called the add function then the values are go to here uh, 3 is assigned to a and 5 is assigned to b and then it works uh, a plus b is works and the added value 3 plus 5 8 is stored in the sum and here the written sum is uh, uh, available right so the sum value is written to the main functions that's why the um, written statement is used uh, the written statement is um, go to the main functions uh, by functions calls and here uh, the added value sum sum is stored in results in main functions it changes to another variable right mm, the value sum the value of sum is uh, transferred to result if we want to print the value then we have to use the result we have to call a result uh, variable mm, as we see earlier this percentage d is a format specifier uh, and it represents for integer and um, if we want to show the integer in that place we can use a format specifier and what's the value of this yes is this is the value of result mm, so it's display the uh, value as the sum the sum is 8 this is how it's displayed and uh, in inside the main functions uh, there is no any calculations right so the we can simply write as written 0 this is how basically a function is uh, work mm, in our next video we can see how the functions call there are two types of functions called mm, how it works and uh, we can uh, run a program lively thank you to obtain a course completion certificate visit our site and finish the rest of the course video sign up or sign in choose your level watch the video and take the quiz Finish all the quiz to unlock the final quiz and get your certificate. Happy learning!